Good evening, everyone. Creepy isn't one of the words you usually use to describe weather conditions at a baseball game, but that might be one of the better words to use when talking about tonight's American Legion game between the Kingsford Blues and the Marquette Blues. It was just a bit foggy at Gerard Haley Memorial Field, and it didn't get any better as the game progressed. Top of the sixth, Guy Barrels batting, wild pitch, number 20, Anthony Ribera scores, and it's 4-0 Kingsford. Top of the seventh, Marquette's Riley Lynch is the new pitcher, and Sam Santi drills one to right field on the first pitch. Up in the fog where the right fielder couldn't find it. Santi motors the second. He's going to motor to the third with a triple. He scored on a wild pitch to give Kingsford a 5-0 lead. Bottom of the seventh, 5-1 Kingsford. Hunter Larson for Marquette. Grounds to second. Second baseman can't get the ball out of his glove cleanly. Safe there, Sam Leo scores and Marquette climbs within to 5-2. Bases loaded, two out for Riley Lynch. A drive to center field that as soon as I find it will get past the center fielder. Three runs are going to score on the play. That will tie the score at five and he steps on the play. Then the out is made there as Lynch is trying to get the third, but we are going to extra innings. Bottom of the ninth, runners on first and third for Hunter Larson. Base hit right field. Hopefully you heard the ship's foghorn in the background. Jay Oberg scored 6-5. Marquette rallies for the win in nine innings. Kingsford starting pitcher Brock Grenier did not get a decision, but he gave up just five hits and struck out 15 through seven innings. The Sault Ste. Marie High School football team has been an independent since 2009, but starting in 2016, the Blue Devils will be a member of the Great Northern Conference. Again, this will be just for football. The Sioux was a member of the Straits Area Conference from 2004 through 2008. Prior to that, the Big Northern Conference from 1997 into 2003. Huron Shores Conference from 82 to 96. They were an independent before that. And from 1955 through 75, the Blue Devils were in the Great Lakes conference. Now Sault Ste. Marie has played all five teams in the Great Northern Conference. Took me a little while to find that out because Kingsford's the only team that's played the Sioux just once. Kingsford historian Art Bynes says they met in week two of the 1964 season. Kingsford won 52 nothing, so I can see why the Sioux didn't want to try that again right away. That will change in week four of the 2016 season when the Flivers visit the Blue Devils. The Blue Devils were 1-3 and three against Menominee in the late 1950s. That was even before Ken Hofer and the single wing offense. When the Sioux was in the Great Lakes Conference, the Blue Devils played Escanaba, Gladstone, and Marquette on a pretty regular basis. The Sioux has played Marquette every year since 1988 and Gladstone since 2002. The Blue Devils have made the playoffs in two of the last three seasons.